I'm Rachel Hazel of The Travelling Bookbinder. A few notes about bookbinding thread. My go-to thread is linen. It's natural, strong, durable and holds a knot well. The unbleached creamy white is standard for bookbinders, although you can get hold of some splendid colours or dye your own. It can be bewildering to see curious numbers on the reel, such as 16 stroke 2 or 35 stroke 3. The first number refers to the thread thickness. The higher the number, the thinner the thread. I was totally fascinated to learn how this is measured by wrapping the thread around a fixed section of stick. The second number indicates the ply or the number of strands that have been twisted round each other to create the single thread. This is four ply. I find 25 stroke 3 to be the one that I reach for most as it's a good standard thread, especially for bindings where the spine is covered up, as the aim is to reduce the swell or bulkiness without compromising on durability. Where the stitching is going to be on display on an exposed spine sewing, I'd recommend a thicker thread, such as 16 stroke 2 or 18 stroke 3, to really show off your handiwork. Such as in the trio of single section bindings in my book Bound, 15 beautiful book binding structures. To wax or not to wax, that is the question. Waxed linen thread runs smoother, reduces friction and is less likely to tangle. I think it also helps the knots to hold as well. I usually opt for a pre-waxed thread, but the time may come when you will need to wax your own. So here's a quick lesson on how to do just that. Cut a length of thread to size. If you have quite a few pages to bind, then take an amount you can comfortably work with, such as the width between your open wide arms. Lay thread across the beeswax, pressing one end into it with your thumb. Take the short end in your other hand and draw the whole length through the groove. Repeat three times. If your lump of beeswax has so many lines cutting across it that it's in danger of disintegrating, warm it up in your hands until soft enough to reform into a smooth block. A few seconds in the microwave will do the same job, just don't overdo it.